police sergeant is being recognized for his commitment to the city and his courageous fight for his life. Sergeant Isaac Carrington was shot outside of his home back in August. Yes, WJZ's Rachel Menatov gives us the latest update on the sergeant's current condition. At today's celebration, Sergeant Carrington thanked everyone for their thoughts and prayers over these last few months. And throughout his recovery, he's always said that as soon as he can, he'll be back serving the city. A celebration inside New Waverly United Methodist Church. Today, we honor the courage and willing spirit of service that Sergeant Isaac Carrington clearly possesses. In honor of Baltimore Police Sergeant Isaac Carrington, a 22 year veteran of the department. Sergeant Carrington, all of Baltimore, as you now know, admires not only your years of service in taking care of us, but in your faith and resilience in going through the suffering you are now. In August, Sergeant Carrington was talking to a neighbor outside of his home in Northeast Baltimore when a gunman wearing a mask jumped out of a car, demanded valuables, and ended up shooting the sergeant multiple times. Two men, Karan Foster and Rashad Nesmith, are now facing a slew of charges, including attempted first-degree murder. Carrington was rushed to shock trauma where he spent days in the ICU. And even from his hospital bed, Carrington continued to show his strength. I love y'all. I'm 10 -8. More than 100 officers saluted Carrington as he left shock trauma weeks later. And when they gave me the call and said that you were going to be going home, it was a bolt of lightning energy for me because I knew that meant that the Lord wasn't done with you. Carrington was recognized for his resilience. He says today he feels strong. Sergeant Carrington continues to undergo rehab and to regain his strength with help from his doctors at Shock Trauma and his Baltimore police family. Reporting from Baltimore City, I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.